Thank you, Abhishek. Secretary, Mr. Sahani, officers of MITI, and my entrepreneur friends. I'm delighted to, delighted to be a part of the startup ecosystem. It has been a very interesting journey throughout my entrepreneurial journey. I mentored about 20 odd startups and that's where I learned how important it is to support the startups during the most vulnerable part of their journey. And which is the most vulnerable part of the journey? The beginning. The part when the idea is getting converted into a product and product is getting scaled up, that is the part of the journey which is the most vulnerable part. And as uh, we all know, more than 50% of the startups are not able to cross this bridge due to various reasons. Startup entrepreneurs are very passionate about their ideas. I've seen the energy when startup entrepreneurs pitch their ideas, the conviction they have in the idea and the way the every entrepreneur, startup entrepreneur that I've met in my journey would always believe that his or her idea is the best idea in the world. That's the energy which drives a startup. That's the energy which propels it. That's the fuel of a startup. Beyond this, there is always a big gap between the skills, between the management ability, the requirement of the business environment, and the entire entire set of uh, parameters which are needed for a startup to succeed beyond that. That's the part where I think we all will, from the policy support side, from the government side, from our scheme side, from our funding side, we will be in the coming months and days, and we have been doing this for some time, and in the coming days and months, we will be focusing mostly on that initial part of the journey. Once we help the entrepreneurs and startups to navigate that part of the journey, things become much more easier. Then it, then lots and lots of things start coming together. People start supporting, funds come in, venture capital comes in, management uh, graduates would like to be part of that journey. Things happen. But during that initial phase, the most vulnerable part of the journey, support is needed and that is the support we are focusing on. I have seen how many of the entrepreneurs struggle in creating an organizational structure. Something which is as simple as creating an accounting or finance department or a commercial department can sometimes be a real big challenge for a, for tech-oriented uh, startup uh, entrepreneurs. How to control costs, that becomes a major part of a challenge. People start, I mean, even though one would have come through a, a journey where even one rupee is important, 100 rupees is important, every one lakh is important still, how to systematically categorize what is costing, how to control the costs, how to scale up, how to take a commercial view of a product, how to get the right contractual structure in place, how to make sure that, okay, if a product is there and it will require some after sales support, there will be some rejections. How to create those systems is where many of our startup entrepreneur friends really, really struggle. I mean, I'm speaking out of my personal experience of mentoring startups and my own entrepreneurial journey. That's where people really, really struggle. If through our initiatives and through our funding, if we are able to create a support system for these kind of skill sets, which are generally missing, of course, once a startup reaches a level, after that, there would be, I'm graduates who would like to work in that startup. That is the time when lots of management skill, lots of commercial skill, lot of finance skill, all those skill sets start automatically coming in. Before that is the part when they need support of government. So our strategy 
has been will be and it will be scaled up in a significant way in which incubators accelerators uh, product development support getting the right mentors getting the skill sets which are not there within the startup getting all those things together we would like to scale that up 10x 20x 30x kind of scaling up we would like to do i sincerely believe and uh, purely based out of experience i am saying this funds are never a restraint a constraint or lack of funds is never an issue lack of getting the idea into realistic product or lack of collecting the skill sets which are needed to convert that idea into an into an enterprise that's the bigger issue that's the bigger challenge for most of the startup entrepreneurs if we are able to tackle that if we are able to support the entrepreneurs in that journey then probably our value add will be huge our prime minister shri narendra modi ji his vision is absolutely clear as far as the startups are concerned we believe that technology we believe that the energy of youngsters the energy of entrepreneurs is a great potential source of energy for inclusive development our society as we stand today requires lots of initiatives lots of uh, new ideas lots of new products lots of new services which will create a better life for the marginalized sections for the society for the for those persons in the society who are at the bottom of the pyramid who are standing in the last of the last of the last line people who are living in absolutely remote areas like parts of odisha parts of chatisgarh parts of northeastern india parts of jammu and kashmir parts of southern india where the mainstream development has still eluded the people living in those areas and that's where the technology can play a major role in accelerating in taking a quantum jump in reaching out to people which would have taken many years probably using the energy of startups these areas can be reached within months employment in traditional industries as well as employment in new age industries new age startups is a stated mission it's a stated goal of our government stated uh, vision of prime minister narendra modi ji and initiatives and schemes like samridh will help accelerate that help accelerate the implementation of that vision i thank all the officers i thank all the entrepreneurs who have joined all the media persons who have joined this uh, launch of samridh uh, mission samridh scheme and i hope in uh, coming uh, weeks and days and months more such initiatives will be launched by the ministry to accelerate to scale up to rapidly increase the support system for startups during the most vulnerable phase of their journeys thank you very much